Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the fragrances that I wore for the week and I have four new ones that I got to experience so I can't wait to share about them. And before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. I would love to have you part of the Weird and Wonderful family. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, the first fragrance that I tried uh, is called Trissardi Inside Delight. So uh, one of my wonderful subscribers uh, named Greyhound Mama, she sent me the, uh, like a whole bunch of samples for me to try. So I'm really excited to give those a go. Uh, what caught my attention uh, to her in the first place was the fact that her name was Greyhound Mama. And uh, at one point in my life, my husband and I uh, were seriously considering adopting Greyhounds because uh, there's so many out there that are in the racing stuff and when they're done racing uh, They unfortunately a lot of times just get euthanized. So there's uh, groups that rescue them and uh, Greyhound lovers are a very special kind of niche community and they really love their animals so uh, while we were in that process of kind of checking into it and whatnot um, we went to the one of these rescue places that is here in Edmonton and so uh, we got to meet all the greyhounds and the woman that owned them and they were just fabulous dogs so uh, we would have still gotten um, a greyhound when our son came along but unfortunately he uh, has a bit of a sensitivity to dogs that shed so uh, that's why we chose uh, a non-shedding dog, but otherwise we would have probably gotten a greyhound. So uh, anyway, uh, long story. <laughs> long story, I'm not sure you care, but here we go, fragrance. So uh, thank you to Greyhound Mama for this one. Uh, it's called Trissardi Inside Delight. Now this is kind of a citrusy floral fragrance. Um, the notes, the top notes are magnolia, lemon, and quince. The middle notes are freesia, honey, honeysuckle, and coffee blossom. The base is teakwood, musk, and sandalwood. So what I get primarily is the florals and the citrus. It's a really refreshing fragrance. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, there's quite a few fragrances where I consider them kind of a, a musky citrus floral. They come across almost a little bit watery. Uh, they're perfect for spring and summer, although I think you could wear this one all year round. Um, this one, the thing that I find about some of these is that they, f they feel really clean. Uh, so they're kind of a clean floral. They smell uh, a little bit fresh, fresh and clean, uh, as well as, you know, the little bit of sweetness from the citrus. Um, I'm just not a fan of kind of the more fresh fragrances. So although I think this is beautiful and I think it's a really nice one to check out, like if you're a fan of fragrances like light blue, um, even Trissardi Donna, like it's, it's got that vibe. Uh, I just find Trissardi, I've got it here, Trissardi Donna, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more lemony. This one, although it has the citrus, uh, the floral component makes this feel to me quite, uh, fresh and clean. So a really pretty fragrance, just not my taste because it's too clean. I know this, it's so weird because who would think I don't want to smell clean, but I don't want to smell clean for whatever reason. I like smelling fruity, I like smelling floral, but like smelling like clean cotton, linen sheets, you know, fresh out of the laundry, those types of fragrances, they don't quite do it for me. So this one, although it's beautiful, and I can see a lot of women liking it, it's not for me. Longevity was really decent, like it was moderate, so about five, six hours I got out of this one. So definitely if you like the clean, uh, you know, kind of more citrus floral with a hint of wood, uh, this one is a great one to check out. The next one I tried out, it's called Casamat Rasani by Rasasi. This one's from Spicy Looks, by the way. I was really excited about this one when I first smelt it. Uh, because it's got this bright kind of fruity citrusy opening uh, So I thought that it would be right up my alley But I found this one to be kind of in the same category is the Trissardi Inside Delight So this one has apple bergamot and lemon in the opening and then the middle notes are cypriol oil leather and sandalwood the base is cedar musk amber and oud um, this, I got that apple, I get the bergamot lemon, 
uh, I get a little hint of that um, kind of balsam or resiny kind of quality from the cypriol oil. I notice a little bit of that leather. Uh, definitely get the cedar. So it's got that woody component. This is definitely a lot more, um, a lo lot more kind of citrus bright paired with the woods and a little bit of resin. So this one has a lot more, like Trisardi Inside Delight has more floral. This one has more wood, leather. It's a little bit more unisex. Um, it's a, a really pretty fragrance. I loved the opening. Uh, nice, bright, juicy. Um, I, I just found this one to be, again, quite clean somehow on my skin um, and fresh. So again, this is a great summer option. It's unisex, so it's wonderful for like uh, summer to me. It's got that juicy, vibrant quality. Uh, not too heavy, but you still have some substance with the cedar and the oud, uh, with the little hint of leather. I don't notice the leather a whole lot, but I do get those resinous qualities. It doesn't smell like Eau de Soleil Blanc, um, but there is that, um, you know, the kind of like cypressy type uh, vibe that, that I find is in Eau de Soleil Blanc. I kind of pick it up in here, but this one is definitely a lot more citrus heavy with, and then with that green apple, a little bit tart, a little bit bright in the opening. Uh, so although this one's nice, it isn't for me as well. It's just, again, too fresh, uh, too kind of clean somehow for me. <laughs> yeah. Now the next fragrance I was super pumped about, and it's thanks to scentsiblings.ca, she sent me a little decant of Delina by Parfums de Marlene. The real thing! Guys, I feel like I've been basically lying to you because this is way better than the dupe. I really like my dupe. So for first kiss, it, it's beautiful. It gives me the vibe of Delina. I definitely get it. It's nice and powerful, potent fragrance. Love it. But it does not compare to the real thing. So the real thing is a little less harsh than First Kiss. Um, it has, there's a softness that makes it feel a little bit velvety uh, that you don't get in First Kiss. So this one is far superior. I have to have a bottle now. Like I have to have a bottle now. It's absolutely amazing. I love the lychee rhubarb combination. Love the tartness. Love the nutmeg. Love I I love everything about this fragrance. It's got rose and and peony. Like it, it's basically got everything that I love in this fragrance. It's it's a hundred percent for me. Hundred percent for me. So I love this one. I would have to say that I think I love this one more than Delina Exclusive, but they're both amazing. But this, like, unfortunately, like, this one just isn't quite. So, like, it's a close dupe, but the, the real thing is far superior. So, um, yeah, Delina, it's, it's the girl for me. Gotta have it. Got to have it. The next fragrance that I wore was La Belle. This is vanilla, uh, like there's tons of notes in it now, uh, but mainly I'm getting pear vanilla, a uh, little bit of spiciness from that vetiver. I love wearing this one. It makes me happy. Whenever I wear it, I feel slightly saucy, a uh, little bit naughty, but I, like it projects amazingly. I get compliments when I wear this one. Um, yeah, I love it. I find that it lasts a long time, so it's not like my most it's not my most lasting fragrance but i definitely get like seven eight hours out of this one and so i just thoroughly enjoy like whenever i wear this one i feel pretty good like i feel i feel pretty i feel saucy like it's just awesome so this is a massive win for me every time literally every time next fragrance was uh dolce and gabbana's dolce garden uh, this one, again, a total win for me. This smells so relaxing. There's a bit of a, a nutty, lactonic quality. Borderline smells like some sort of like a uh, tropical drink, uh, but not quite. So it's close to that. Like I get that 
almost pina colada vibe uh but then somehow there's a little too much floral in it and so this has magnolia mandarin orange and neroli in the opening in the middle it has coconut frangipani ylang ylang and the base has vanilla almond milk and sandalwood so um this has that creamy like it does it makes me think of a pina colada without the pineapple but there is a brightness to it um it smells just, uh, it smells a little bit milky, a little bit nutty, coconut, uh, warm, the frangipani and a langy lang come out. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, a little bit syrupy, but almost more of a nectary feel to it. Uh, I, I love this one. I love wearing it. It makes me feel relaxed whenever I put it on. It's just like, like I just imagine myself walking on a trail in Hawaii. There's florals along the way. Maybe a toucan flies by my face. Not in my face, but just kind of by. Maybe there's a monkey like, ooh, ah, like in the background. I don't know. Like, you know, I just get that like, you know, easy island vibe. I gotta go to Hawaii sometimes. <laughs> I need a vacation guys like I need a vacation but this is like a vacation in a bottle so awesome last fragrance I tried uh, was from my friend Hesse and it's by Boucheron and it's called Quatre Boucheron um, this is like a fruity floral kind of a uh, seems like a more of a white floral this one is just beautiful it's got a lot of citrus in it uh there's a little bit of muskiness to it but it's just gorgeous it has grapefruit tangerine lemon and orange in the opening middle notes are jazz jasmine apple big strawberry rose and peach and then the base is musk cashmeran cedar vanilla and caramel so this starts off with this big beautiful kind of citrus burst it kind of stays the whole uh, the whole time with the perfume. Starts to mellow out at about the third or fourth hour, um, and then you're getting that jasmine. Uh, it it actually smelled like orange blossom and rose to me uh, more than jasmine. Uh, but that said, I, you get that kind of white floral more so than the rose. I don't really notice the big strawberry or the peach so much. I just mainly get those citruses and it just stays kind of clean. I notice a little bit of that apple. It stays quite clean, like clean florals with that, that lemon again. So it's kind of in the same category is the Tresardi Inside Delight. Yeah, it's it's got a really similar quality to it. But this one also has kind of a vanilla caramel aspect that kind of comes to play a little bit later in the fragrance that kind of sweetens it up. So out of, um, you know, Inside Delight and uh, Quatre, I would probably pick Quatre um, just because, yeah, it, it's not quite as clean. And even though it's fresh, it's a fresh white floral feel to it. Um, there's still a little hint of sweetness and mystery to me with the Quattro one. The other thing is, is that this bottle is absolutely stunning. Like, uh, well, you're seeing it, you've seen it on the screen, but the cap kind of twists up and down. So it doesn't actually come off. You twist it and, it, and out pops the atomizer. So yeah, the bottle is really beautiful. So cool. That one I am definitely considering out of all three of kind of the fresher ones. I think it would be great for summer. So I'm going to try it a few more times before deciding, but I have decided like no more monkeying around. I have to get Delina. Like it, it, it's, it's ridiculous that I haven't gotten it yet. I love it so much. And now that I've tried, uh, the, the original compared to the dupe, um, I have to have the original cause it's just ever so slightly better definitely better definitely better than the dupe so yay i've got to get that and other than that um yeah those were my fragrances what was your standout fragrance have you been trying any new fragrances have you sampled anything and if you have uh what is it that you're kind of thinking about getting uh, what's kind of in your cart or you're really tempted to get, I would love to know. Leave it in the comments. And other than that, have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.